Hey guys, we're down here in the basement. Got these new boilers installed. Well, we're not doing those today. These two pumps are condenser water loop. This comes from the cooling tower. This chills the, cools the condensers, uh, condenser heat exchangers and um, the chillers. I'm supposed to pull the strainer here as this pump, but I can't do that right now because that pump doesn't run. Normally what we'll do is we'll put that one on and pull the strainers on this and then um, you know run this one and pull the strain in that, but obviously we can't do that today because that one's dead. So we're gonna go to the chillers. We got multi-stack chillers here. These pumps here are the chilled water pumps. We're not gonna be pulling the chilled uh, water loop uh, strainers, it's a closed loop. But the condensers are not closed loop. We're gonna pull these, these are for the condenser. These are water cooled uh, multi stack chillers. We got one, two, three, four. Well, five modules total. Each module is uh, 30 tons. So we got 30 plus 30 plus 30, that's 90. 120, 150 tons, just this whole row right here. And we got that row, another 150 tons. So we're gonna shut this guy down. We're gonna come to these Victaulic fittings here. We have a lot of strainers in them that we have to pull, they get dirty. And those strainers look like these guys right here. We gotta pull them, clean them, put them back in. Show you guys how to do that. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. Afghan war hero. <laughs> Condenser water supply. Condenser water return. So we need to pull the water supply, which is right here, and in these barrels here. And we got. So the first thing we obviously do is uh, we drain this. It's already drained. Um, we get the sockets. So we open up this metallic fitting here. Why do you wear gloves? <laughs> I love when Steve Lab says that. Why do you wear gloves? <laughs> Steve, I love you, bro. You're a funny guy, bro. Why do you wear gloves? All right. I gotta try to get that open real quick. So I, I had to get a open end on that. I mean, a closed end. Because the socket we just didn't have enough leverage. I left the breaker bar set that I got for 20 bucks, a whole set with the sockets. I think the price for that was like hundred and something dollars in the store. Um, total. So we take this off. Hey Steve, uh, Anthony, come hold this. Let me take this off. I want you to tape me. Okay, so. Hey, you got me?
free showers there if I wanted to. So focus that on there. See, this is what we need to clean. It's coming from the tower. Look how dirty that is. So we gotta pull all of these guys. So I got one over there. We pull the rest of them. We got this spot right here. Kind of, I'm using as a cheetah, cheetah bar. Be better if I could use a pipe, but I don't have a pipe. All right, I'm to a Don't worry about it. I'll try to get that one. Here, get this one. We got the strainers out. A little dark in here. Got my buddy right here cleaning him. Clean him good. We don't clean him, these things cut out on head pressure. <laughs> you think it's fucking funny over here? Someone's gotta get wet, right? <laughs> Better than that Afghani water you guys were fucking I love drinking. Africans, just in case this is on YouTube. When you guys were fucking killing I didn't terrorists. That I'm gonna run you, for fucking Better than drinking that Afghan water you guys were cooking eggs on. I'm gonna run for some political office scene. They're like, when well, we found the thing on YouTube, we said <laughs> something about Africa. So we're gonna clean those up. We got five of them, one, two, three, four, one more is back there. Oh! Clean them good, you gotta clean them good. If you don't clean these, uh, you know, the units go off on head pressure, compressors. Those units are ancient, they're about, they're old man, I don't know how old it is, about 15, maybe 16 years old. It's the older model, uh, multi-stack chillers. Nice, nice units, though. It's working good. Take care of that. I'll be over here. <laughs> so I pulled that strainer. I didn't record it because I forgot to record it. I took off this uh, nipple here and I drained it from here. So I gotta close it back.
Why do you wear gloves? <laughs> I love that, bro. Every time Steve says that shit, it's so fucking funny. Why do you wear gloves? Steve, why do you wear gloves? Why do you wear gloves? Uh, <clears throat> next thing to do is um, get a screwdriver. What I do is I open up the control panels and uh, make sure there's no wires at all. Burnt off. Uh, nothing is in bad condition. Check out all this. Sometimes these things like to burn at the terminals. That's an overload. Transformer, contactor. Simple, very simple. Simple unit to work on. It's the controller, the brains behind it. I'll show you the one on the one that's working. Go to status. See uh see the water 60. nice so you know I'll just continue going through all of them make sure nothing is uh, everything is intact terminals. See that red one there? I had to redo it. The thing was burnt. Uh, sometimes they burn. The wires start cooking. Um, high pressure switch, low pressure switch. That's it. There's nothing else to them. Simple. Simple shit. It looks intimidating in the beginning, but uh, this is the old school shit, man. Still, this is the one that was made in the U.S. Now they're made in China and all this fucking place. Uh, I wrote that it was low on gas. If there's an issue with any of these compressors, it'll come up on that controller. They'll tell me. I don't need to connect gauges on. I mean, I have gauges right here, high and low. That's all. If we have an issue with it, it'll tell me. It tells you everything, man. That's it. I'm gonna put those strainers back, connect this metallic fitting there. And that's it, man. I'm gonna do the same with the other one. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys.